Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, lounging with Lisa, the video series that has me lounging while coming at you with thoughts of the day. And right here um, on my porch, I am right here on my porch with bed head and in my night clothes. Not wearing my pearls yet because I do take them off at night before bed because sometimes they fall off. Okay, I wanted to tell you about my adventure last night. I can't get over it. Okay. <clears throat> that and a couple of other funny things. Well, funny in a tragic way, I guess. All right. Um, I was flying around yesterday working on the game and kind of straightening up the house a bit and blah, blah, blah. And uh, then about 8.30 last night, I decided to, finally, I needed to maybe order something to eat. I know it's kind of late, and I am trying to take off some weight, but I ate watermelon all darn day long. I almost swore, but I didn't. So I thought, I'm going to get something and have something here for over the weekend, you know, pre-made, and I don't have to deal with it. So I called in a to-go order to a new place in town. Oh, dear, the name. Um, I was Gallery K, uh, Art and something. I'm going to go find the name because I don't want to... It's... Oh, hold on. Hold, please. That's very on back. Okay, it's... Um, I just want to make sure I totally get the whole name. Gallery K, Art, Music, and Coffee Cafe. Oh, that kind of rhymes. And it's located in... I only... Like, I took a photo and made a collage of it. I don't know if that'll come out. But at any rate... Super nice crew, whatever, blah, blah, blah. They just opened at the end of August, kind of. Yeah. So, at any rate, they gave me the menu whenever I was doing the pictures and things. So, I'm going to set my glue down, ladies and gentlemen. I went down, or I called in the order for a couple of wraps. One was a hummus wrap. The other one was an avocado wrap. I just had to let you know that. Knowing that I would, you know, eat that over the weekend. Clearly, I'm not going to, I can only eat one part of it, blah, blah, blah. So, I'm, uh, she said 15 minutes, and I'm flying around, like, changing, putting on a shirt and stuff, and not that I was shirtless in the home, ladies and gentlemen, but I had on my tank top, and you know how I feel about that. So, I'm running around, ready to leave, and suddenly I can't find my little wallet thing. Anywhere. Okay. So, I start tearing the house apart madly, moving furniture on the verge of tears, because I knew for a fact I had it earlier in the day. Reason I knew that is because I got my credit card out, called the back, the number on the back, and made my payment. I do that every month just to get it there absolutely on time to make sure nothing gets goofed up. Couldn't find it. I looked in the garbage. I looked in the refrigerator. I looked in the laundry. I moved that huge footstool all over the cats are looking at me like I had five heads. And finally, I called her back, and I'm like, you know, kind of ner not nervous, but clearly upset. Because that kind of thing really bothers me when I know for a fact that I had this earlier. And now suddenly it's completely lost. So she was real sweet about it, this woman, Erin. And uh, she's real funny and artsy, and I really like her. But at any rate, she uh, she said, Lisa, just calm down. You don't know how many times this has happened to me. Come get your food. We'll work it out later, whatever. So I thought, all right, I will. But I'm still trying to think what the heck went on. So I leap in the car. I thought I'll put the lid down. My, it was by this time quarter to nine or something no well whatever it was later i think it was eight o'clock when i called her actually not 8 30 whatever so i leap in the car with the, the lid down and i'm driving downtown I'm talking to myself trying to figure out where did i put this what's going on get in there and she was going to give me this food a woman she met like one time when i came to cover the opening not really cover it but take photos and stuff i said you are not doing that i'll pay you tomorrow you know i could have i knew i'd find it eventually it's not like the, somebody came in and stole my wallet while I was, what, outdoors with the cats in the backyard? And there's nothing to steal, really. Well, I guess there is if there's a card in there. So, <clears throat> she gave me the stuff, and I came home. I was taking off my shirt, going to hang it in the closet when I looked to my left, and guess what? There was my wallet sitting on the way into my closet. Not sure why I carried it there. Maybe I was on the phone. Maybe I got distracted. So I leaped back in the vehicle. The cats were looking at me again in amazement. Flew downtown. Was pulling in the parking lot. They were closed by this point. And I'm like holding my wallet out of the, you know, car since the lid was down. And I went in and paid it. And basically that's the end of the story. So then I, you know, ate more part of that thing. And it was so good. Oh, my God. And the homemade potato chips. Blah, blah, blah. So then I went to bed. Perpetual stayed with Isabel last night, the cat. That's why I'm doing all this jazz running around. I don't make dinner on the uh, weekends a lot, which is kind of a nice break for me. So, anyhow. 
for some reason, I cannot explain, ladies and gentlemen. I just, you know, I always go to bed with something like playing, usually maybe an alternative researcher or something with UFOs or even some news or like a Tim Black show or, you know, stuff like that. Sometimes politics. I try not to do the politics too much at night. I don't want to have nightmares. So, I'd rather have nightmares of UFOs approaching. So, for some reason, I stumbled across Bill Maher live. Now, I can't stand Bill Maher anymore. No offense, but I just... I can't take him, but I was eerily drawn to him for some reason. I just cannot explain. So I started to watch him, and I was totally cracking up, not because he was funny, but it was just, he was being so ridiculous that it turned out to be funny for a while. So he interviews John Kerry, of all people, and he's sitting there going on about what a truth teller, fever blister, John Kerry is, and oh, how wonderful he is. And you've always been about the truth. All this stuff, ladies and gentlemen. Now, I'm not super familiar with John Kerry's, you know, record or any of that jazz. But I can tell you this much. I mean, he he kind of protested the Vietnam War after he got home from it. Since then, though, he pushed for the war in Syria. And, you know, did the basic stuff that you do here. And In fact, Jimmy Dore has been playing clips of him, you know, from years ago sitting there pushing about, you know, we must overturn Assad and all this crap. So, Bill, to see him going on and on and on with Bill Maher about what a truth teller he was, I was, like I said, at first I was dying laughing, and then it just wasn't funny anymore, so I got away from him. But I don't, who knows why I do the things I do. And I ended up going to bed with um, something more alternative researchy. So that was my adventure. This is my morning. I don't even think it's 9 o'clock yet. Lounging with Lisa, the video series that has me lounging while coming at you with thoughts of the day. Please join me, join others. Drop your political identities. Let's focus on issues. Leave labels at the door. Research before you judge and.